let's jump into the next question. And this one, we actually have the multiple choice so that I can show you what that type of problem looks like. And we're just going to apply the quadratic formula here. So let me rewrite it. We have minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over twice a. And in this case, it looks like a is 14, b is 9, and c is 10. So we have the opposite of b. So that's opposite of 9, which is negative 9, plus or minus b squared, which is 81, minus 4 times a, which is 14, times c, which is 10. And then all over twice a, twice 14 would be 28. And so now we just have to simplify under the square root. So minus 1, or minus 9, plus or minus, we have 81 minus, let's see, that's 140 times 4 would be 560. And then all divided by 28. And simplifying further, we'll actually do the subtraction under the square root. That becomes minus 479, all divided by 28. And lastly, we have to simplify this square root. So it's a little bit sloppy. But the square root of minus 479, well, we can pull the i out. Essentially, when you pull the negative out, you just put the i in front. Make it i times positive root 479. But if you want to understand this, essentially, you're doing two steps in between. You're making it minus 1 times 479. And then since you have a product, you can separate it into its two square roots, multiply together, and now you end up at this step. Since square root of minus 1 is just i. So we can simplify this just a little bit further. So we get minus 9 plus or minus i root 479 over 28. And 9 and 28 don't simplify, and 479, well, based on the answer choices, since they all have root 479, it doesn't look like this simplifies. So sometimes you can use the answer as a way to kind of check your work. So we just need to figure out which one of these choices is correct. And notice that we've got a nine or a minus in front of the 9. And if we separate this into two fractions, we have minus 9 over 28. Because remember, the 28 divides into both of these terms. Plus or minus i root 479 over 28. So this is our final answer. And now we just got to compare. So we've got the minus in front. So that will eliminate this one and this one. And it's got the i in it, so that eliminates this one. And you can see this choice letter b is exactly what we had.